So, via advanced farming techniques, hint hint, nudge nudge, I have acquired Safi Jiva's armor set, and I wanted to see what its set bonus was, how it functioned, so that I could compare the armor and see how viable it was. Dragon Vein Awakening. As you can see, elemental and status damage go up, as well as your affinity when your weapon is drawn. It also has a healing mechanic based on you attacking. But we'll talk about that in a second, let's just look at the stat bonuses for now. So my current weapon has 0 affinity and 580 status. When I unsheath, I go up to 40 and 700. So that's an increase of 40 affinity and an increase of 120 status. For element, the boost is slightly different. It's actually 150, which I'll demonstrate. So I have 150 now. And as you can see, when I unsheath, 300. So it goes up by 150 for element and uh, 80, uh, 120 for status. This is the same between weapon classes, so it doesn't matter what type of weapon it is, the affinity, uh, the only difference is whether it's status or element. Let's have a look at what it is if you only have three pieces equipped, so the downgraded version of it. So, minus 5 and 150, 15 and 230, so that is 20% affinity and 80 element. We'll just quickly check status, 580 status, 660, so it's 80 status as well. So it's 80 status or element and 20% affinity. So just to prove that it does work with your unsheathing attack, I have zero affinity now and 40 affinity when I'm unsheathed. My sheathing attack also benefits from this. Not to crit. I should never be able to crit in theory, pretty much. There we go. So you can see by the fact that I got a crit that obviously this 40% does affect my unsheathing attack. The only other thing to talk about is the healing mechanic and it is the same whether or not you have five or three pieces of Sefi Jeeva's armor equipped. So I've got all five equipped for now. Um, it doesn't make a difference, so I'm just going to explain this once and not, not bother showing you it twice. Basically, the way it works is as you attack, you take damage to sort of offset these benefits. However, if you attack with the Insect Glaive 10 times, you start recovering health. And as you can see, it's gone back up to full. Now, it's not strictly 10 times. It is with Insect Glaive, but the mechanics are a little bit deeper than that. So I thought I should go into it in a bit more detail. Oh, and I also should mention... Um, Let's say I get up to eight hits here, and then I sheathe my weapon, and then I start attacking again. You can see I've gone past 10, and I haven't started healing yet. So it has to be done without sheathing your weapon. 10 attacks in a row that land on the enemy without sheathing. And just to demonstrate, you can indeed cart yourself like this. You don't get stuck at one HP, you will die. So keep that in mind. And I suppose the only other thing I should show, if I can find a way to do it, is that... If you attack two different entities with one attack, even though you only get damaged once, it counts as two hits towards healing. So for example, you can see I only took damage once there, uh, and so I've only hit once. However, if I do another eight hits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I've started healing. So if you attack uh, two elements with one attack, you only take damage once, but you start. it counts as two hits towards the uh, healing threshold. I tested this and with the Insect Glaive, it takes around 38 hits to kill yourself from 150 max HP, from which you can determine it's roughly 4 HP per attack. However, if we start to something like Greatsword, we see that it actually takes less hits to activate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. However, you might have noticed that I was taking more damage per hit. And so the way it works is every weapon has a different amount of damage you take per hit. With Insect Glaive it's 4 damage, with Dual Blades it's 2 damage, with the Greatsword it's 8 damage, um, for examples. And once you reach 40 HP of damage taken, on hits that actually land on the monster, so for example here, if I just whiff and don't hit anything, you can see I take damage. But you have to actually land it on the monster to be able to start recovering. So yeah, once you've taken 40 HP worth of damage, all on hits that actually hit the monster, that's when the recovery activates. And you recover roughly 60 to 70, somewhere around 65 HP. So you recover more than you take. So if you do 10, uh, oh yeah, so if you've done 40 damage, you actually recover more than 40 HP. So it's a net, net, it's a net positive. However, it's all sort of focused at the end. And just to prove that, I'm gonna get myself to low health and show you how much you heal. You can see we recovered nearly to full despite doing almost twice as many hits as we needed to. So you recover a fair chunk more than you lose by attacking. So, you have to take 40 HP of damage on attacks that hit the monster. 
So for example, with the greatsword, you take 8 damage per hit, so you have to land 5. With insect glaive, you take 4 damage per hit, so you have to land 10 hits on the monster. With dual blades, you take uh, 2 damage per hit, so you have to land 20 hits on the monster. I'll show you the demon dance now. And you can see each hit's doing less damage now, isn't it? And there we go, at 20 we started healing. Hopefully that makes sense. Additionally, whilst you're healing, you can't take any more damage by attacking. So for example, I'll just get myself to lower health. Now what you'll notice is that if I, if I do another demon dance, whilst I'm healing, I don't take any more damage. You can see I can continue to act, uh, hit as many times as I like whilst the healing is, uh, is active. And the only other point to mention is that you don't have to do it all in one combo. You can wait as long as you like between attacks, so long as you don't sheathe your weapon. Aside from that, I think that basically covers all the facets of this new skill. Uh, it seems pretty decent actually. The 40 affinity is a big boon, but it does require 5 pieces. 3 pieces for 20 affinity is also nice, and the status and element do help. The thing is, there are so many good set bonuses out there, like Crit Element and Master's Touch, that I find myself using a lot. So I'm not 100% sure how much this will get used, but I don't play all the weapons, so there's a good chance that, that it does get used in weapons that I'm not aware of, especially if they don't require any particular set bonuses. But yeah, overall it's pretty decent, and it's a really cool and interesting mechanic. Yeah. I hope this helped, and I hope you're looking forward to getting the armor yourself. Take it easy. Bye-bye.